Hey there all you curious minds and health enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel where we explore the intriguing and the impactful. Today, we're delving into a hot button topic that's got everyone talking. Vaping. It's not just a puff of smoke, it's a puff of controversy. From the allure of flavored clouds to the cloud of uncertainty surrounding its health effects, we're about to break it all down. So if you've ever wondered about the mysteries hidden within those vape clouds and what they're doing to your body, grab a seat and get ready for a journey into the world of vaping's impact on our human vessels. Vaping is a modern way of inhaling nicotine and other substances. Originally marketed as electronic cigarettes or e-cigs, these items were marketed to assist in minimizing the health hazards associated with smoking. Within a few years, makers of e-cigarettes created new designs, styles, and flavors and vaping was born. While the majority of kids do not vape, these stylish devices have grown in popularity, putting young people's health in danger. While the adverse health consequences of tobacco smoking are well established, many individuals believe that vaping is safe. This unfortunately is not the case. Cigarette smoke and e-cigarette vapor are both absorbed into the lungs and introduce toxins into the bloodstream, but there are significant differences. Smoke is produced by the chemical reaction that occurs when oxygen and a flame combine with the substances found within tobacco leaves. Much like a campfire, smoke is a gaseous combination of tiny particles. Vapor, on the other hand, is produced by the physical transformation of a liquid into a gas, similar to how boiling water produces steam. While vapor may appear to be harmless, in this situation, the vapor contains hazardous substances. Because vapor may be inhaled more deeply than smoke, nicotine and other dissolved substances can enter the body more deeply and be absorbed at higher levels. Nicotine, flavoring, and other compounds are suspended in a liquid carrier called propylene glycol or glycerol in e-cigarette juice or e-liquid. When the juice is heated to 400 to 485 degrees Fahrenheit, it converts into a gas that can be inhaled. Because the liquid is heated to such high temperatures, various chemical reactions take place and we never know what new chemicals will be formed. When ingested, a family of substances causes damage to the body's cells and tissues. Toxins or poisons found in e-cigarette gas include diacetyl, acrylonitrile, propylene oxide, formaldehyde, crotonaldehyde, and among others. These chemicals have been linked to cancer and asthma-like inflammation. The gas from the e-cigarette begins its assault inside the mouth, right after entering the body. Even minor exposure can cause irritation and damage to the lining of the mouth, nasal passages, and throat. Cancer-causing substances contained in the vapor are also exposed to these tissues. Once within the lungs, compounds from vape gas can produce harmful effects including increased mucus, airway inflammation, scarring, and in severe cases, substantial issues with oxygen absorption. Many vape pods include nicotine that is chemically distinct from nicotine found in tobacco. It possesses an additional charged particle that helps it to be absorbed into the bloodstream faster than nicotine from cigarette smoke. Furthermore, vapor from a vape pen can penetrate considerably deeply into the lungs than smoke from a cigarette. Because of these two features, vaping delivers more nicotine to the brain faster than smoking a cigarette. When users vape, they're delivering significant quantities of nicotine to their brains in an instant. The intense nicotine rush or buzz of vaping makes it much more addicting than smoking cigarettes. So why did people start vaping if it wasn't healthier? Advertising, misunderstanding of the hazard, and nicotine addiction are all factors in the solution. Companies created visually appealing vapes and then extensively promoted vaping as a fun activity. These same corporations claim that vaping is harmless and even beneficial. Those promises proved to be false, but in the meanwhile, many individuals began vaping and many were hooked to nicotine, making it difficult for them to quit. The scary part is that vape pen use is increasing among teenagers and young people. Vape pens became popular with middle and high school students during the last 5 to 10 years as a result of all the marketing and ads that falsely informed them that vaping was enjoyable and harmless. To avoid nicotine, some people begin by vaping just flavors, and sadly, the flavors and other chemicals in vapes cause lung damage and other health issues. We also know that most individuals who start vaping eventually switch to nicotine-containing e-cigarettes, and once people start using nicotine,
nicotine, they are likely to become addicted, which means they lose control over the use of e-cigs and find it difficult to quit even when they want to. Vaping include lung and other organ damage, breathing problems, addiction, and more. People tend to think of vaping as safer than smoking, but it's actually not safe. Problems vaping causes include asthma, lung scarring, organ damage, evilly, cancer, and much more. Vaping can increase your risk of developing asthma and other respiratory diseases. It may even aggravate your pre-existing asthma. Diacetyl, a chemical found in various flavorings, has been linked to bronchiolitis obliterans, also known as popcorn lung. Bronchiolitis obliterans results in persistent scarring of the lungs. Nicotine and other compounds in e-liquid can harm your heart and brain in addition to your lungs. We know that nicotine can harm brain development, increase blood pressure, and restrict arteries. Evilly stands for e-cigarette or vaping-related lung injury. Evilly is a dangerous lung ailment caused by vaping. It causes widespread lung damage and symptoms such as coughing, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Evilly can be fatal. Vaping nicotine is expensive as well and can harm the lungs cause other health issues and can also impair focus, learning, and mood. The idea that e-cigarettes are a safe way to take nicotine has increased the prevalence of vaping among young people. The high dose of nicotine delivered by vaping can lead to addiction and brain development issues. Quitting nicotine is difficult, especially for those who have been addicted to it. On the plus side, however, there are drugs that can help alleviate nicotine withdrawal symptoms and lower nicotine cravings. In conclusion, while vaping may be perceived as a safer alternative to smoking, it is not without its health risks. The effects of vaping on the human body can impact various aspects of health, and continued research is necessary to better understand the long-term consequences of this practice. Individuals, especially young people, should be aware of the potential health risks and consider alternatives that do not involve nicotine or harmful chemicals. And that's a wrap on today's exploration into the effects of vaping on the human body. We even covered the science, the risks, and the potential consequences of this popular habit. Remember, knowledge is power, and being informed is your best defense when it comes to making choices about your health. But before we wrap up today's deep dive into the intriguing world of vaping and its effects on the human body, let's reflect on the questions that continue to linger in our minds. We've uncovered some fascinating insights, but there's still much more to explore. So as we conclude, here are a few questions for you, our curious viewers, to ponder and discuss in the comments section down below. Are there any myths or misconceptions about vaping that you'd like to see debunked in a future video? If you've successfully quit vaping or smoking, what tips or strategies work for you? And what advice would you offer to those looking to do the same? Have you or someone you know experienced any health effects from vaping? Share your story with us. We encourage you to engage with these questions, share your thoughts, and keep the conversation going. The more we learn and exchange knowledge, the better equipped we are to make informed decisions about our health. If you're as fascinated by the intricate workings of the human body as we are, make sure to check out our other health-related videos. We've got a treasure trove of content on nutrition and diets, supplements, and workouts that can empower you to take charge of your well-being. Whether you're striving for a healthier lifestyle, exploring the benefits of various diets, seeking advice on the best supplements, or aiming to optimize your workout routines, our channel has got you covered. If you found today's video informative and thought-provoking, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future explorations into the world of science and health. And always remember, your health is your wealth, so take care of yourselves and stay curious. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, keep those questions coming. We'll see you on the next adventure.